Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and today we're talking about Doom Eternal, one of the biggest releases of this year, or at least it was one of the biggest releases of this year, especially for Switch, but they announced via Twitter and other social media platforms in software said that Doom Eternal is now being delayed. It is being delayed till next year and releasing on March 20th 2020 they're also including a doom 64 uh, on all platforms xbox playstation 4 and switch pc as well for free if you happen to pre-order the game however doom 64 itself also won't release until uh march 20th maybe that's just to ensure that if you pre-order the game you also then bought the game instead of pre-order then canceled your pre-order and now you have doom 64 for free that's why i assume it's going to launch on the same date but even worse news i guess quote unquote worse news for switch owners is the nintendo switch version itself will actually be releasing sometime after the game releases on other platforms now this is Obviously, some sad news for people that maybe wanted to play Doom Eternal right now, and we're hoping for a date and date release, even with a delay for Switch. But I'm here to tell you that this is actually a positive, believe it or not. Uh, I know that might be hard to believe, but I firmly believe that it is a positive thing when games are delayed, especially a AAA game, especially one that's a premier franchise like Doom. You see, too often, games come out incomplete. They come out buggy. They come out broken with promises of fixing them later. Heck, even when Doom releases in 2020, one of the multiplayer modes uh, isn't coming out right away. It, it, it's coming out as a free update later. So even with the delay, Doom isn't complete at launch, Doom Eternal. So uh, it's still falling victim to a bit of uh, rushing to the gate. But I, I do applaud id Software for this delay because I do think that this is what is best for the game. Um, Nintendo delays games a lot, right? As Nintendo fans, we're used to this. Zelda games are infamously always delayed. Like, if they announce at the beginning of next year that Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out in 2020, you might as well bank on 2021. Maybe, if not delayed until Switch 2 in 2022 or 2023, because that's what Nintendo does with Zelda. And they do this with a lot of games, where they end up delaying the release date by a month, two months, or multiple years. Remember, Breath of the Wild was originally supposed to release in 2015, didn't come out until launch of Switch in 2017. So you never know with Nintendo. And uh, ultimately, I think most of us can say the delay of the Breath of the Wild game made a lot of sense because not only did it help launch a platform instead of being on stuck on Wii U where it's kind of a dead platform and maybe by the time it, it gets ported to Switch, even if it's ported at launch, the excitement for the game is gone. Uh, they launched a new platform with it and you could argue the game might have been better because of it. So... Uh, that is something to take into consideration when we're talking about game delays. Is that in this case, Doom Eternal is not being delayed to be a PlayStation 5 launch title or, or anything like that, which is a bunch of PlayStation 5 news came out today. For those who don't know, it is coming holiday next year. That's really all you need to know right now. Something about real time ray tracing, whatever. It uh, doesn't really matter till we actually see it in action. But uh, what I do think is important here is that id Software recognizes the game's not done. Why, why release at their target release date of this year if the game isn't done? Yeah, I played it at E3. Yeah, it was pretty damn good at E3. I didn't get to play it on Switch, but I got to play it on PC. Pretty damn good. Uh, but I, I'm okay with game delays. And I think as gamers, if anyone's upset about the game delay, we need to start looking in the mirror and asking ourselves, why do we play games? Because don't we want games to be complete and finished? It's not like id Software is doing this to get more pre-orders. It's not like they're doing this to uh, upset people. They're doing this because the game isn't ready. There's a problem with it, a fundamental issue that they're not going to you know, throw out there publicly because then it might make them look bad. But there's a problem and they want to fix it. And it's to the point that they're fixing it that the multiplayer mode, one of the key multiplayer modes, isn't even releasing at launch with the game. And the Switch version, which was going to be day and date, is now delayed even further because the main game that's being built first for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation isn't where it needs to be. So how can the Switch port be where it needs to be when the primary game isn't done? So uh, I honestly think that this is nothing but a positive. Yes, I will say as a Nintendo Switch owner, it would be cool to see them maybe delay it a couple of months and then line up the release uh, to be all the platforms at the same time. But I also understand that the game's already being delayed, and if it's already done for PlayStation 4, Xbox, and PC, which are going to be the higher-selling versions of the game, you're not going to delay it for the Switch. So I can understand that move as well. And as a Switch owner, 
Day and Date is awesome. Mortal Kombat 11 Day and Date was amazing. Sold amazingly well on Switch. But I do think even a quality, high quality late port can still find its its audience on Switch. As we've seen, you know, with The Witcher 3, which recently came out. Which, by the way, I haven't actually played The Witcher 3 on Switch yet myself. Uh, for some reasons that many of you guys might already know about. But I have seen other people play The Witcher 3. And oh my god. Does it not only look fantastic on Switch, and I can't wait to live stream it for you guys, it is maybe the best port job of a third-party game done yet. That's how amazing it is. Credit to the, co the company that did it. I forget which company ported it, and uh, obviously CD Projekt Red for ensuring that the high-quality standards they hold themselves to, they held the porting team to. But, whew, boy, Panic Button's got some competition. That being said... I'm glad that this is happening. Panic Button is, by, by the way, the company that's porting Doom Eternal to Switch. They were the ones that have ported Wolfenstein the New Colossus, um, also Wolfenstein Youngblood, and the original Doom the original Doom 2016 version uh, on Switch already. So they are the go-to id software uh, company uh, for porting these games. So I'm excited about the fact that it actually is delayed because it means we're going to get a better product instead of a buggy, broken mess that we usually see rushed out of the AAA industry to meet deadlines uh, and say, hey, don't worry, we'll just patch it and fix it later. Uh, I don't like the idea that you could just release a broken game and say, we're going to patch it and fix it later. I think that's what demos are for. I think that's what betas are for. I don't think that's what a final release should be. I think more games need to release in the state Nintendo releases most of their games where they're finished products day one. I know there's some exceptions. Splatoon's this franchise that they do these continual updates to where it's not really a finished product until they're done. That's just the way that you know that, that game works. Uh, and there's some other games that are similar to that. And I can argue games are sometimes lacking content. Mario Tennis Aces, amazing gameplay, lacking content. Um, same is true with some other games on Switch. Uh, Kirby Star Allies is an example. I really like the gameplay. But eh, I could use a bit more content. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. At least when the games come out, they're working. They're mostly bug-free, if not entirely bug-free from Nintendo. And uh, that's what I want to see. So Doom Eternal coming out later this year, or I should say later next year. I would probably expect summer sometime for Switch. It uh, doesn't bother me. But hey, if you do pre-order it on Switch, you will get Doom 64 day one on march 20th when everyone else is getting doom 64 so you will get it then it was already announced for switch and it's just announced for additional platforms now uh, i think that's mostly a positive thing and i think we need to start looking at game delays as a positive in this industry it needs to happen more often in my opinion uh we all remember when uh assassin's creed was delayed for like a year you know, because they, they were tired of uh, the backlash and how broken Unity and, and, and other games were. And what happened? We ended up with two amazing Assassin's Creed games in a row. And hey, now we're not getting one this year. Why? They want to take their time to get the next one right. And I think that's the correct approach to AAA development. So credit to Ubisoft as well for, for realizing they got themselves stuck in a rut with those yearly releases that should have probably never been a thing. Uh, and credit to hopefully other companies as well. I hope they take note from Nintendo, from Ubisoft, from id Software. Uh, I hope Activision, heck, give Call of Duty a break one year. Like, it's okay to skip a year to make a higher quality product. And the thing is, Call of Duty is even set up to do such a thing. Now they got this blackout mode and this Battle Royale stuff. You could literally just keep the game relevant with Battle Royale for an extra year with, with free content updates or whatever you, you decide to do, like Fortnite or, or PUBG or something does. And then... Hit us with a brand new game when it's actually ready. Heck, delay two years if you need to. You can still make all that money. I know Activision, you're used to getting that 20 millions in sales or whatever every single year. I get it, but come on. I mean, heck, why isn't Call of Duty Mobile on Switch, for crying out loud? Like, I've seen it. It looks damn good. Pretty sure it can run on Switch, but uh, more on that later because I actually have a video in the works on Switch Pro, maybe Switch 2. I mean, Switch Pro is kind of a made up moniker it's not really being said by anyone officially uh but uh yeah I, I definitely have a video in the works for that a nice discussion video maybe an editorial style video on it to be honest there's a lot of information out there a lot of things i want to talk about with that but uh, i want to you guys for tuning into this video uh, let me know what you think about this doom eternal delay uh does it bother you is it something that uh you're actually happy about like i am um, or are you happy that it's a delay, but also not happy that the Switch version gets an additional delay on top of that? Uh, that's something that uh, I hope doesn't happen too frequently, where the Switch version gets an additional delay. Uh, but in this case, 
it's hard to be disappointed with id software and the job that panic button has done in the past so uh they're gonna get the benefit of the doubt from me you guys let me know if they get the benefit of the doubt from you as well all right folks i'm nathaniel robojans from nintendo prime if you enjoyed this video be sure to like it share it with your friends comment below and hey if you're new to the channel why not hit that subscribe button so you can get all of the new video notifications although here's the thing the subscribe button's probably not enough so you might want to also hit that bell icon which is supposed to send you all of the notifications uh that way you'd be notified of all new videos and live streams as we will be making much more content uh from here on out moving forward Forward with a more consistent schedule landing next week uh this week we're just going to be experimenting with content as i announced in a community post that i suggest you go check out and read if you want some additional information on what's happening this week at the channel uh, but thank you so much for tuning in and i will catch all of you in the next video